Okay, so let's first talk about the Middle East. There's so much going on there, the Israeli election. A lot of people were angry at the way Netanyahu won this election. They said it was racist that he said at the last minute, Arab voters are coming out in droves to the polls. And I guess that is racist in the, in the strictest sense. He's bringing race into the equation. But <laughs> first of all, <laughs> like Reagan didn't win races with racism, or Nixon, or Bush, like they didn't play the race card. Reagan opened his campaign in Philadelphia, Mississippi. Remember that? Remember Willie Horton? Okay, point one. Okay. Point two. <laughs> point point okay. two, Obama would never have played the race right, card. No, he's been playing the race card since he was uh, elected. I mean, that's Hello, he's <laughs> black. He's, yeah. <laughs> well, you can play it. But you can play it both like ways. He, he's, yeah. he but he's used it to his advantage. Come on, Bill. What? He's used it to his advantage to get the voters to come out. Here's the deal with Netanyahu. Wait, the president has used... Well, the, 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 the deal with Netanyahu was that he basically came out and said, look, these Arabs are, are going to come out and vote. Hey, guys, conservative base, come out, vote for me, or I'm not going to win. And that was a deal. Right. Whether you want to call it like racist or not. Just like Republicans always oh, do. Right, I, I right. think what he was it's, doing, he was making sure that his base showed up. Out. That's By exactly that's, 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 that's not the franchise that's of either That's not fear. Party. It was not it's, fear. It was basically saying those Arabs are not going to okay. vote for him. Do you, and so he's going to have to bring out his vote. Right. This is what you do in we, an election, We got on Bill. a tangent there. <laughs> well, <laughs> let me ask the question I was going to ask about this, which is when, when he said that, Arab voters are coming out in droves right. to the polls. I heard a lot of commentators here say it would be as if Mitt Romney in 2012, on the eve of the election, said black voters are coming out in droves to the polls. But I don't know if that's really a great analogy. I think that would be a good analogy if America was a country that was surrounded by 12 or 13 completely black nations <laughs> who had militarily attacked us many times, including as recently as last year. Would we let them vote? I don't know. When we were attacked by the Japanese, we didn't just not let them vote. We rounded them up and right. put, them put them in, in camps. camps. You know, I, I think on this race, Netanyahu wasn't just motivated on his own reelection as much as he is on the survival of Israel. That's right. it, it, to to you know, one side, he has the Gaza Strip, Palestinian Authority recognizing Hamas. To the north, he has Hezbollah. To the Syria, he now has ISIS. I, I think he, he's actually very, very concerned about the future of his country and the fact that, as you're saying, these countries that are all, all around him have promised to wipe Israel off the map. So he was fighting not just for his own political future, but for Israel. Well, look, I mean, I, I think the, the truth of the challenge and the danger for Israel, that's real. And I think it's really important that we as Americans stand with Israel 24-7. And I think that uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu is concerned about the future of his country. Right. But let's not pretend it wasn't politics, because the day of after the election, politics. How he you went right back. Yeah, he's a politician, politics. by <laughs> the way, I mean, in a real democracy to... that lets Arabs vote. That's right. So I'm just okay. saying a little perspective. Okay. But I think and, he, it doesn't uh, help, yeah. and it doesn't help that President Obama obviously uh, sent over his own political advisors over to Israel to organize Isra the is Israelis against Netanyahu. I mean, that's created a big. Well, he came tough here right. to organize his voters against. He should absolutely. You got to broaden the base. Right. When you do it, it's cool. Yeah. <laughs>